so we have already discussed about uh, the pole zero plot of uh, transfer function with simple poles that is poles with no imaginary parts only real parts so suppose we consider a transfer function given like uh, k s plus 1 s into s square plus 2s plus 2. So here we have one simple 0 okay we have one simple 0 at s equals to minus 1 one simple pole at s equals to 0 but this remainder this remaining denominator s square plus 2s plus 2 this remaining part we have to evaluate using quadratic equation determining the roots of a quadratic equation that formula so this is in the form of a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c okay s square plus 2s plus 2 so we know that the roots of a quadratic equation can be calculated by this formula minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac whole root over by 2a so here it will be minus b plus 2 plus minus b square which is 4 minus 4ac which is 8 by 2 which is equal to minus 2 plus minus uh, 2j which is minus 4 root over is 2j by 2 which is equal to minus 1 plus minus j so this is the complex pole this is the complex pole okay so if we have to draw the pole zero plot for this so we have one complex pole here which is minus one plus minus j so if we have to draw the pole zero plot here it will be something like this okay real axis and imaginary axis 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 okay let's say this one j1 j2 minus j1 minus j2 okay so first we have one zero at s equals to minus one okay so we'll encircle it then we have a pole at s equals to zero and then we have a complex pole at minus one plus j plus minus j which means this a pole exists at minus one plus j one and minus one minus j one another pole at minus one one so minus one here one pole and here there is one pole okay minus one plus j1 and minus one minus j1 so this is the pole zero plot for a transfer function with complex pole okay and it has also the real poles and zeros along with it okay now let us uh, discuss another transfer function related to complex roots suppose we have a transfer function uh, like this s square plus 6s plus 
25 by s into s plus 1 into s plus 3 so here in this transfer function we have three simple poles poles with no imaginary parts at s equals to 0 s equals to minus 1 and s equals to minus 3 three simple poles s equals 0 s equals to minus 1 and s equals to minus 3 but in the numerator there is no simple 0 there is only this expression s square plus 6s plus 25 which may lead to complex zeros so let us solve it using the same quadratic formula so it will be the roots will be s will do minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac which is 125 hundred by 2 which is equal to minus 6 plus minus which is uh, minus 64 by 2 which is equal to minus 6 plus minus 8j by 2 which is minus 3 plus minus j4 okay so this is the complex 0 complex 0 as it is in the numerator so we have three simple poles and a complex 0 a complex 0 which is one complex 0 which is minus 3 plus minus j4 so if we have to plot the pole 0 diagram okay the location of the poles and zeros again we have to draw the real and imaginary axis okay so this is real axis this is imaginary axis so it is uh, minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 again here 1 2 3 3 3 4 j1 j2 minus j3 minus j4 okay so we have three simple poles at 0 here and minus 1 and minus 3 so we'll put a cross there to locate the poles 0 minus 1 and minus 3 and we have a complex 0 or minus 3 plus minus j4 that is minus 3 plus j4 and minus 3 minus j4 so here this is 1 0 and here this is another 0 minus 3 plus j4 minus 3 minus j4 okay so this okay this one is minus 3 plus j4 minus 3 plus j4 and here it is minus 3 minus j4 complex 0 and these are all the simple poles or poles with no imaginary parts and this is the complex pair 0 so here we have discussed the pole 0 plot for uh, complex roots that is complex poles and zeros along with the simple poles and zeros so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much